I have been thinking about uh, what the police go through because two police officers in my town have been shot since I've been here, which is like a year. Another one died and I don't live in a massive city and I, I haven't lived here very long. And so I think that a lot of us citizens don't think about how police live their lives like the danger that they're in because police spend as much time thinking about bullets as me like bullet sizes bullet material um uh, the the type of bullet um and I, I spend more time thinking about bullets than paintbrushes and so all i'm saying is they spend a lot of time thinking about that sort of thing so um they can they understand the possibility of a very large bullet coming at them and hitting them in the wrong place. Um, so police go through a lot and I think a lot of us don't appreciate them because we have negative interactions with certain police officers, but throughout this whole COVID night. Oh, so anyway, so what I'm trying to say is throughout this whole COVID-19 situation, uh, everyone keeps talking about the heroes, which are, um, people that are keeping food, on the shelves, people that are working like, like, like grocery store workers, um, people who, um, who are working through difficult situations, like, um, people that are working at food processing plants, um, people that are working in the oil fields, uh, cause we still need oil. And so what I'm saying is those people are who everyone's talking about that are heroes, but we're not talking about the police and the police are heroes. Um, so I think we need to acknowledge that. The other thing I was going to say is, um, if you're listening to me and you're going, I need to start a business. All I have to do is get a Nikon D750 and, <laughs> um, I can be a photographer like him. Well, I'm also developing the website by myself and I know how to do that. And I'm not developing a WordPress website. I'm well, I am, but I'm developing a WordPress website as my base website, but I'm also developing a static website because I have to have a place for my pictures that isn't going to cost me a million dollars. Um, I also have to spend $600 a year on software. I also have been doing Photoshop since you could steal Photoshop since high school. I, I mean, and I'm 34 years old. So uh, I've been doing Photoshop for almost, uh, for a very long time. And then I've been using other programs in, in a way that, was inspired by Photoshop because like I, 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 do, I made memes with Microsoft Word, but I was inspired by Photoshop in the way I made memes. Um, so all I'm saying is you can't just be like, oh, I'm gonna be a photographer, I, I can take pictures. I, I'm spending like $300 on lighting type stuff. Um, and I, this lens I bought, the 24 to 70 um, lens, like that, that is not even enough for me to be a professional photo photographer, I need at least one more lens and I probably need two. And those lenses are really expensive. So all I'm saying is, um, it's, it's, it's expensive. You can't, and I'm not just doing a photography business. I'm doing, I'm making logos for people cause I, I can make logos. I I'm, I'll, I'll do advertisements for your business. Um, both print and video advertisements. I I'm, I've been doing iMovie for years. So all I'm saying is, I have experience with video and I'm also learning Adobe Premiere and all this other crap um, because I, I want to learn how to actually do fancy video or proper video. And I, I'm also, I mean, all I'm saying is it's a lot more expensive than you realize. I, I had a, I, I had, to, okay, so for Photoshop, you have to have a certain level of computer, but Adobe Premiere, you really do. I had to buy a computer and not just buy a computer, I had to buy parts for a computer to upgrade a computer. Cause I have to have 32 gigs of Ram. So, but then I also, that's in addition to my, uh, GPU six, six gigs of GPU. You want to talk about a fast computer, uh, um, I seven, uh, ninth generation. <laughs> yeah. I bought Intel. <laughs> I can't help it. I, I'm afraid of all other processors besides Intel because I grew up in a time where if you didn't buy an Intel processor, you regretted it. Um, and so, yeah, my boycott of Intel, didn't work out very well because the moment I needed a computer that's fast enough, but it, it was more based on the price. Cause I, I, I have seen AMD statistics and it says they're as fast. Um, but historically I'm afraid of all other processors, but Intel, 
like when I'm actually buying for myself. And that's why it's really weird I wanted to boycott him. Um, I'm talking about boycotting Intel, Intel because their relationship with Israel. Um, it's more that I want Israel to change their behavior and for us not to have to boycott them. But if we have to, we can boycott everyone except for Intel. 